Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you very much for joining me in Wayback Wednesday, the day of the week when I go back in time, recreate an old project in new modern colours, patterns and papers. Actually, this is going to be the last official Wayback Wednesday project for you. Um, certainly, um, there won't be any more um, before next year, before, ne you know, before uh, 2017. Now, I do, I have been doing the Wayback Wednesday projects for... Um, gosh, the majority of this year and in the main they've been really well received but I do always take notice of thumbs ups and thumbs down and, and well I don't take them personally I do believe that if somebody's going to put a thumbs down they really probably ought to give a reason why they're doing that but I do use them as a benchmark and um, a couple of weeks ago I had a project that got a lot and I took to my Facebook group, so if you don't know where it is, it's Poodle's Craft Forum, and I asked the question, what are your thoughts on Wayback Wednesday? And in, the majority of people were really interested in staying each week, but a few people put out some really good points of view that perhaps um, less frequent, or to really change up the style. So I've taken that on, on board and I will always listen to suggestions and opinions. So I will pop out the old throwback project now and again, but I just won't do it on a weekly basis. But I wanted to end in style. So after a minute and 20 seconds of talking, because I know you like me to just get on and make the project. This is my original project. And this actually is the original project I made in 2013. So June 2013, so a very old project. And this actual business card holder sits on my desk and actually it carries my four sons Go Henry cards. If you don't know what Go Henry is, it's the best pocket money saving thing in the world ever. These cards are brilliant. I'll talk more about it on my blog. Um, but So head over there if you are in the UK and you want to know what Go Henry is. Seriously, it's stopped an awful lot of mummy can I have a few pence or mummy can I, I get a, a new pack for my you know Xbox game or whatever. But they do carry business cards, and this is the this is my original. So I'm thrilled to be able to share you share with you actually the original project. I did make this one because we're coming up to Christmas, and I wanted to have a bit of a play with some beautiful, gorgeous glimmer pla glimmer paper. And I also wanted to see if it would work in glimmer paper. But I'm going to make you a cardstock version, and this time I'm just reaching it off my little extra desk that's just off to one side. I have got blushing bride cardstock and beautiful blooms and bliss paper which is just that tiny little panel on the front and it's great i love these they are they are very popular i know they have been recreated and made over and over and over again so i'm not showing you it's nice that i'm not actually showing you the original project on my phone i can show you the original project in real life okay piece of cardstock oh, i don't work with my i don't work with a scoring board on this do i i work in from the trimmer so well, I'm going to give you metric um, instructions and measurements first, not imperial. So 13 and a half by 19 centimetres, working with my trimmer. So I'm moving the dark grey blade out of the way and working with the pale grey scoring tool. 13 and a half by 19, which is eight and a quarter by six centimetres. And I'm going to work along here with this set of measurements. So you're scoring at four, six, 12 and 14 centimeters which in imperial would be one and a half two and a quarter five and a quarter and six and a quarter inches so it's very slightly different turn it around and we're going to score it at two inches which is this one here or if you like me you're working on a trimmer 11 and a half sorry centimeters two centimeters 11 and a half centimeters which is what you would work at if you were working on a blade, on a scoring tool. So two and a half, two and eleven and a half. My brain's just switched itself off, hasn't it? Uh, which is one inch and five inches. Oh, it hurts sometimes, doesn't it, when the brain exits the building? I've got small boys off sick today. Um, yeah, not very well. And um, I'm very delayed on the whole filming thing late in the afternoon I've normally finished filming by now not really just starting so I've folded and scored everything it will bend you can see we're gonna to have to go in a sort of zigzag pattern to get this shape but don't worry about it at the moment because we need to get rid of bits so looking at the cardstock horizontally and with these lines at the bottom the actually the only ones we need are these outer four outer corners don't need those bits in the middle so we're just going to chop them away and oh I'm gonna fire stuff up in the air get rid of that 
and then cut those straight off. And then exactly the same on the opposite side. So if you're, I'm, I'm quite brave with a pair of scissors. I'm quite happy to hack and chop. If you're not, this is where the trimmer would come in really, comes it really in handy. So there we go. Okay, so the box is actually going to fold over like that and like that and sit up. So you will end up with a zigzag pattern like that, but don't worry about, you know, bending or over bending or anything because the adhesive's going to do that. So I want a piece of adhesive that runs down that panel, so the thin bit on both of them. And so easy. Fold like that and push there. I'll just move that bit out of the way because you don't want it to stick. And do exactly the same. So I've just folded it over. Easy peasy. Love it. Okay, these bits, which are the front, they're going to angle around like that. So this is the front and this is where you want to put your adhesive. So on the shorter one. So where's your adhesive on? And just line it up as you do with any other kind of box that, where the sides fold up. So I'm just matching that line there, that part, to the bottom of the box. Super duper easy. And then just trim at an angle. There and there. And that's got the shape of the box. Now on this one I did put a notch in. To be honest, I actually haven't ever needed it. I've not, you know, it's not like I've got the got the, the box full of business cards or anything like that, so I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> really not. Piece of paper here, five by nine centimetres, which is two by three and uh, three quarters of an inch, and I'm just going to score it at one and a half centimetres. So I'm just gonna work off this side. So we've got a little over three centimetres there we can work with. So just score it there. Bend it up, and that bit is actually going to sit there on the front, just like that. Love. It's so cute. I do like this project. Can't believe I didn't make this really early on in Way Back Wednesday, but it's kind of nice to to leave to leave one of my better projects to last. Okay, so now to line it up. There we go. Now, on my original, we had buttons. We had buttons back in the day. We haven't got those buttons anymore. So, and I don't really know which one I want to go with, whether I want, because I did stick a bow on there. I do want to put another bow. So I'm, I think I'm going to, I'm going to have a go with the Rich Razzleberry, um, which is part of a trio pack in the Autumn Winter catalogue and see what that looks like. It might not work. It might, might not have the, the effect I want. I'm not really sure. So I think we'll just have to go and see see what it's like. I really want a very small bow. Mm, it's okay. No, don't like it though. So back to the drawing board. We're going to go with some baker's twine, and I want it looping. Th I want three lengths of it in one go. So, Blushing Bride this is, obviously, the colour in the background. Just neaten that up, make it a little, little bit smaller. That is quite cute when you haven't got wibbly bow, but you know, we'll pretend I haven't got a wibbly blow. That's better. So, mini glue dot on the back, down at the bottom, and that's a cute variation on my original. And like I say, it definitely does hold business cards. I actually don't have business cards because if I'm talking to somebody, I will just email them straight away. I'll ask for their email address, contact them straight away. So, cute, cute, cute. I hope you like it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.